I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to round numbers to tens. Counting by tens is great fun, right? So here we have a number line where we have numbers written as 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 and so on. Whenever you round numbers to tens, you will get numbers like 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 and so on. So, rounding to 10 results into numbers like 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 and so on. Correct? So, that's the fun part of it. Now, let us see how really to round numbers and what does it mean. So, let me take few numbers now. Let's take number 2 and then we will take number, uh, let's say 17, number 23 and let's say a number 39 okay these numbers we are going to place on the number line number 2 here we have 0 that is 2 for us so this is number 2 for us so that number is number 2 17 so 10 this is 15 16 17 so that is 17 for us let me write here 17 and mark 17 with an arrow okay 23 so 20, 21, 22, 23. 23 is right there. So this number is 23. 39 is one less than 40. So 39 is one less than 40. So these are the numbers 217, 23, 39 on a number line. We need to round these numbers to nearest tens, right? So let's round them to nearest tens. So round to nearest tens. So we'll write tens. Rounding to tens mean to write these numbers as 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 and so on. How do we do it? We basically check each number. Let's say number 2. 2 is between 0 and 10 so it could be rounded to 0 or to 10 what should it be rounded to since it is rounded since it is close to zero we prefer to round it to zero that should be correct we should not round it to 10 10 is a very big number as compared to 2 zero is closer to 2 correct and therefore 2 is rounded to zero now how about 17 in case of 17 we see that it is farther away from 10 than 20. It is closer to 20, correct? And therefore, it gets rounded to 20. So that is how we actually round the numbers. We check the number. Number in this case is 17. 17 could be rounded to either 10 or 20. It is in between 10 and 20. Since it is closer to 20, we round it to 20. Now let's do number 23. 23 is between 20 and 30. 23 is closer to 20. So that will also get rounded to 20. How about 39? 39 is very close to 40. So there is no problem in writing that as 40. Correct? So that is how you round. You will notice after rounding we get 0 at 1's place, right? So, when you round to 10's, we get 0 at 1's place, right? So, we have 0, we can say in 1's place. So, place value for 1's is, so for 0, the place value is 1 in all these examples, correct? So, 0 is in 1's place. When you round numbers to tens. Now, always it is not easy to draw a number line and then check whether we are closer to left side or to the right side, right? When you round to the right side, you are rounding to a higher number like 39. When you round to 40, it becomes higher. 23, when you round to 20, it becomes lower, left side, right? So at times, when you round your numbers, 
they may increase or they may decrease, right? So we see both the cases. Now the question is, when should we round higher, right? So when should we round higher and when should we round lower, right? So that is what we need to check. If one's place, this is your one's place. So we check one's place. So for that, check one's place okay so for that always check one's place value right so when you check one's place value if you get numbers like 0 1 2 3 or 4 these five numbers then you round lower but if you get numbers like 5 6 7 8 9 then you round higher. You get the point. So now we'll use this rule and then round few numbers, right? So let's do this exercise. Let's round the numbers like, let me take 5 as my first number, right? 24, 36. Let's say number 84, 88. 79 okay let's round these two nearest tens how do we do it well check the number in ones place this is the number in ones place now since this number is five we'll round higher so higher to five is the number 10 it comes between zero and zero and ten so higher to five in tens is the number 10 24. This 4 is in this group. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So if one's place has a number which is less than 5, then it is rounded lower. Correct? So that rounds to 20. You can pause the video, round these numbers and check with my answer. 36. 6 is in this group. 5 or more. Right? This group, we can say 5 or more. Do you see that? Means higher let me write like this less than five means lower okay that is what is easy for us to remember six is five or more so it becomes 36 becomes 40 84 four is less than five less than five so it rounds lower lower means 80 84 is between 80 and 90 88 is also between 80 and 90, but because 8 is 5 or more, it is rounded higher. So it rounds to 90. 79 is between 70 and 80. 9 is higher than 5, right? It's 5 or more, so it rounds to 80. So that is also a rule which helps you to round numbers.